And new accusations of human trafficking have been added to the lawsuit filed against a prominent political donor after two men died inside his West Hollywood apartment. The case was filed by the mother of one of those men who is also accusing prosecutors of ignoring the death. NBC4's iTeam has been following this case pretty closely. Investigative reporter Eric Leonard joins us now with more. Eric? Well, Colleen, this new legal complaint not only accuses donor Ed Buck of being responsible for the death of Jamel Moore nearly two years ago, but it also alleges Buck violated federal human trafficking laws by paying for Moore to fly to Los Angeles. Buck has denied all of these accusations, and to date, no criminal charges have been filed against him. A new complaint in the legal case says Buck enticed Jamel Moore to travel to Southern California in order to engage in commercial sex acts. This email, obtained by NBC4, appears to show that Buck sent an airline ticket to Moore about a day before his death. Moore died July 27, 2017, of a drug overdose inside Buck's apartment in West Hollywood. The case was initially considered an accidental death, but the L.A. County Sheriff's Department agreed to reinvestigate after public pressure from Moore's mother and activists. Then, a second man died in Buck's apartment. Timothy Dean was found dead in January, also of a drug overdose. What is it going to take? What is it going to take? for D.A. Jackie Lacey to prosecute him. Earlier this year, Moore's mother, Letitia Nixon, helped oh, deliver thousands of petition signatures oh, to the L.A. County oh, District oh, Attorney's oh, Office oh, to oh, demand oh, prosecutors oh, file oh, criminal oh, charges oh, against oh, Buck. That's when Nixon filed the lawsuit. I just want that Buck and whoever is protecting him to know that we mean business. Uh, I'm not taking the death of my son being lost uh, lightly, and I won't go away. It also accuses the district attorney's office of failing to take action after Moore's death. No criminal charges have been filed to date, and the DA says it doesn't comment on pending lawsuits. Again, Ed Buck has denied that he caused the deaths of either Moore or Dean, and his lawyer says he'll fight the allegations in this lawsuit vigorously. Live in the newsroom, I'm investigative reporter Eric Leonard. Back downstairs to you in the studio.